everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kaylee and these are my books. So today I have a super spooky summer makeup look to be paired with my super spooky summer TBR to be shared. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my summer ween TBR. If you don't know about summer ween, summer ween is a readathon that's hosted by Gabby and Olivia. Gabby is Gabby Reads and Olivia is Olivia Reads a Latte. And this is a week-long readathon in summer where we basically just read spooky books. There's some prompts that we can fill, um, but you don't need to fill the prompts. Basically, the, the spirit of this readathon is to read scary books during the summer, um, kind of bringing Halloween into the summer. This readathon runs from July 15th to July 21st, so it's um, about an entire week. And I'm trying to get through quite a few books this week. We'll see if it happens. I have an ambitious TBR. The first prompt of the readathon is to is to read a book in the dark. And I think a lot of my books can fit this prompt because basically any ebook I can read it in the dark on my phone in bed at night, get all the spooky vibes. Whenever I'm reading a scary book in the dark, I always am like watching out of the corner of my eye because I swear my dresser starts moving. Like the clothes on the ground become shapes of people just crouching on the ground watching me. It's very creepy. But that's one of the prompts in this readathon, read a book in the dark. And so the designated ebook for me to read in the dark is called Lovely Bad Things. And Lovely Bad Things is by Trisha Wolf. So this book kind of serves two purposes because one, I can read it for um, reading a book in the dark, but also it has a dark cover. And so the black on the cover can count as Halloween colors. And that is prompt number two, read a book with Halloween colors. This book is also Riley Marie's Patreon buddy read. So I need to read that book this month anyways, and why not read it during summer ween? Lovely Bad Things is a dark romance that follows a female FBI agent who has to pair up with a male serial killer to catch this other serial killer that's on the loose. So basically the serial killer partner has already been caught and is in prison, but the female FBI agent has to consult with him to catch this new on the loose serial killer. I've heard it described as a dark romance meets criminal minds meets Silence of the Lambs, and that just sounds amazing. <laughs> I did not know I needed that in my life, but I do. And so this is one of my most anticipated books this month. I'm so excited to read it, and I'm so happy I get to read it soon. So in addition to reading a book in the dark and reading a book with Halloween colors, the next prompt in the readathon is to read a book um, that is a slasher book. And I love slasher books. My problem is I've already read a lot of the big slasher books, like I've read Grady Hendrix's The Final Girl Support Group. I've read um, Adam Cesare's The Clown in the Cornfield. I've read the, um, what's it called? The Riley Sager book, The Final Girl. And so I feel like those are the big heavy hitters. So if you're watching this video and you haven't read those books yet and you need a slasher book, I highly recommend all three of those books. For me, I think the slasher book I'm going to read is Camp Slaughter. Camp Slaughter is by Sergio Gomez. And this is a book about a group of college kids that go to a uh, cabin in the woods and just so happens there's a cannibal loose in the woods and they slowly get picked off one by one like any good slasher book. So I think this is quite a silly slasher premise, right? It's gonna be one of those um, popcorn reads much similar to like silly horror movies and I am all for it, that sounds great. I have heard some people not like this book but I think the people that don't like this book also don't like slasher books and I like slasher books so I'm hoping that Camp Slaughter is a good book for me. So, so far on the TBR we have Lovely Bad Things which is about 380 pages and Camp Slaughter which is about 280 pages. So not too bad so far, two full length books, but Camp Slaughter is a little bit under a full length book. I mean 280, I feel like 300 is kind of the average book length, so it's slightly under. And I'm hoping I can get through those two books pretty early on in the week. And if I can get through those two books early on in the week, then for the next prompt, I want to read a longer book. So the next prompt is to read a book with the word haunt or haunting in the title. And I really want to read Haunting Adeline. Haunting Adeline is by H.D. Carlton, and this is a dark romance about a stalker ghost and a human girl. So a stalker dark ghost romance. 
it sounds crazy it sounds so fun and i've been in a really big dark romance mood so that's why i'm hoping i can fit this book in to my summer ween prompt therefore making two of my books that i'm reading for summer ween being dark romance books however haunting adeline is nearly 600 pages so this is quite a chunky book to put in for a uh, week-long readathon especially since i already have a quite a few full-length books so we're gonna have to see if I'm still in day like two or three of the readathon when I move on to the haunting book, then I'm going to pick up Haunting Adeline. But if it's day like five or so, I think I'm going to pick up a shorter book and that shorter book would be a Darcy Coates book. Darcy Coates is iconic for having the haunting of so and so um, and I want to pick up one of her haunting books. So I actually have the physical copy of The Haunting of Rookwood, Rookward House. Um, Teddy wants to see it too. And this is a book about a guy named Guy and Guy is going through his mother's attic when he finds this deed for a house. And so he goes to the house and he wants to fix it up and sell it to make a good profit. The house, however, is in bad shape. I mean, you can tell no one's lived in this house for a while. So he's basically camping out in this house, trying to renovate it and be able to sell it. But the house doesn't want to be sold. There's some forces in the house, some ghosts in the house that are trying to make sure a guy never leaves this house. So I think this is going to be a classic, iconic Darcy Coates book. I recently read The Haunting of Ashburn House and absolutely loved it, so I'm hoping for some similar vibes in this book. And this book, unlike Haunting Adeline, is quite short. It's only 260 pages. So this is a good book for me to pick up if we're later on in the readathon and I need a shorter book to complete. So to recap, I have three main books on my TBR. I have Lovely Bad Things, which meets the read a book in the dark prompt and Halloween co colors on the cover prompt. And then I have the Camp Slaughter book, which meets the slasher prompt. And then I maybe have Haunting Adeline, maybe have the Darcy Coates book for my last book. That And that meets all the prompts in the readathon. But I also have some other books that I'm just gonna throw into my TBR just in case we get through all these books really early on and I need some more. Um, one of those books is Riley Sager's new book, The House Across the Lake. This is Gabby Reed's book club book, and so I need to read this book anyways this month. And it is a thriller, so it would be good to read during summer ween. This is a book where a woman lives in the house on the lake, and she uses binoculars to uh, kind of creep on her neighbors and watch them. And she notices that one of the neighbors, their marriage isn't going so well, and then suddenly the wife disappears. So she's trying to investigate and see if the wife has been murdered or what's going on. And it's just one of those classic domestic thrillers. It's been getting kind of mixed reviews. I'm not super excited about this book, but I love all of Riley Sager's books. So there's still a possibility that I could read like this book. However, if any other author had come out with a book, come out with a book with this premise, I would not be picking it up because it just seems like such a tired premise. But I have faith. Hopefully Riley Sager can pull through for me once again. The last book on my potential TBR is called The Locked Door by Frida McCadden. This is another Kindle Unlimited book and this is actually the Late Night Cruise book club pick. And so it's another book that I'm going to be reading this month anyways and it sounds so good. I'm very excited for this book. Um, this is a book about a woman that when she was a kid, her father was a serial killer and she didn't know that he was killing people up in their attic and the police caught him he's behind bars and now that this woman is an adult she has a job and no one knows who her father is no one knows that her father is this iconic serial killer however in her town where she lives as an adult bodies start popping up that follow the same pattern her father used when doing his serial killings so there's a copycat serial killer inspired by her father and she's freaked out because that means one someone knows who she is probably and two, the police might be suspicious of her, and she does not want anyone to see what's in her basement. This book sounds really intriguing, and and again, I have to read it already this month, so I'm gonna fit it into this week if for some reason I get through all of these five or six books really quickly. Let me know down in the comments if you're gonna be participating in Summer Ween, and if you are, what's on your TBR? I love watching these TBR videos because I'm always looking for some more spooky book recommendations. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!